How the fuck are ya, agoraphobic sea urchins? Galactic criminal here. And I'm on YouTube today, and I just happened to stumble upon the thumbnail for this video. I'd never heard of the band before, so I went ahead and looked them up on Wikipedia, and the Wikipedia description alone has me excited to check this shit out. A fucking American metalcore band with influences from melodic death metal and hardcore punk rock. <laughs> Can't go wrong there. Bleeding through. Set me free with a one, two. <clears throat> That was incredible. <laughs> Fuck. Man, I tried to make a video yesterday four different fucking times with four different groups that had been suggested to me and the reaction just didn't come out. It just it didn't feel good to me. So I just said, Fuck it. And then today, fucking in the first line of recommended, I see something I think kind of looks interesting and it ends up being fucking phenomenal. <laughs> And it's not the fucking first time it's happened either. If you've been around the channel for a while, you've heard me say that shit before. So like, I'm listening to a song, watching the video, and just 
The reaction's not coming. It just doesn't feel like it's gonna make for a good video. I just don't even bother finishing the recording. I'll move on to something else. I tried that a few times. If that's not working out, which some days it happens, I just say, fuck it, I'm not putting a video out today. I don't feel like fucking going through the effort of editing and fucking uploading a video that I wouldn't want to watch myself. So now with all that bullshit being said, there was a lot, a lot to this band. Now, like I said before, when I checked out the Wikipedia, the description of them definitely got me excited, and I think for good reason, because a lot of the uh, the influences, I guess they said in the Wikipedia for this band, were definitely prevalent, especially melodic death metal. I can absolutely get that vibe. And that also said, like, hardcore punk. I'm not so sure about that. It might have been maybe, like, the, the drum style was, was kind of a punk drum style, but it was also a little bit more to, like, the, the thrash or, or deathcore side. Especially like the deathcore style when they had like the fucking, just the meaty fucking drop sections, man. <laughs> they were very well done. And also in the drums, the music, uh, like the, the blast beat. And man, fuck, I've said it before, I think, forget what the fucking group was, but their blast beat, at least for the, the mix for that song, for that video, just it overtook the entire track. So you just, you couldn't really pay attention to much of anything else in this one. They used it very, very well. They didn't use it through the entire song. They used it to, to accent certain parts, which I really, really appreciate. They made the heavier sections just that much heavier and faster. Also kind of keeping them a step down from the vocals and the guitar so that the melody can play over that. And then man fucking moving on to that vocal. When I hear metalcore, I don't necessarily think of that style. I think of like the, a higher pitch. Yeah, some of them, a lot of them actually do have a lower register, but it's uh, it's typically that, that higher register type of scream. This guy had a fucking awesome one. It was... <laughs> Again, kind of like I said, like the drumming, I think the vocal was a little bit more to the to the deathcore side as well, but not as deep. Man, it was a, I've said that before too, it's like the, the scream was a nice middle ground. Man, just the, the changes, the transitions in this thing were fucking fantastic. And just starting off the top with that fucking blast beat, they slow it down a bit, it goes in like a drop section, I guess, for like the chorus, with like the, doing the set me free part, but they just... Blasting right back into the speed the vocalist doing this fucking screech scream that almost sounds like he's whispering for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's fucking cool. And I'll tell you, honestly, man, they probably could have gotten away with using that blast beat through the entire song. I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. Like I said, I really, really appreciate how they change up the rhythm and the pacing. It's always something that is, is a favorite of mine. Instead, it's a very, very well-written song. And right in the middle of this thing is one of my favorite parts of it. It just, it slows right down to almost a crawl. And he's just doing this, this barking scream, dude. Just, it's hard to, to, to describe. Well, you fucking saw it, so you know what I'm talking about. But it's just, it was such an interesting thing to have in this song that I was absolutely not expecting. And they paired it with, like, this... This fucking creepy, almost like horror movie-esque style riff, dude. It just, it felt so evil. <laughs> the song, as kind of short as this was, man, there was a lot of really fucking cool elements. I'm so fucking glad that I found out about this group. I'm probably going to have to look into a little bit more of this. And for me, man, when I, when I think about these things that I say about these groups that I'm absolutely coming to enjoy, I start thinking back on when I really kind of just started this channel and wasn't really exposed to that much metal. Yeah, there was some heavy stuff that I'd listened to before, but just, just nothing like this, man. <laughs> back then, you'd never have caught me enjoying something like this, and it's just... Oh, I've kind of come a long way. A lot of people wouldn't say a couple of years is, is enough to really change your taste completely over, but it is for me. I guess all I know right now is that this fucking track was goddamn fantastic, and also I think I'm gonna have to come out of the fucking 19th century and get myself onto Spotify. I know all about it. I just always thought, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to pay for a subscription to this thing because of reasons. But now there's just so many goddamn awesome bands that I'm finding out about and I can't pick up all of their albums. I just can't do that. I'm gonna go fucking broke when I'm buying hats and fucking CDs all the time. This was awesome. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Fuck you. <laughs> Of course, there will be a link in the description for this video so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.